was quietly protective of my heart to reassure that I couldn't break to pieces and be left alone once more. If you hadn't been so patient, you'd be easy to ignore. You put up with all my till you didn't anymore. And now I stand. We are at Park City today. It looks like it snowed five inches overnight. I am so excited. There is not a single cloud in the sky. It's supposed to be sunny. So I think this is going to be a really great day and I hope the conditions are better than Deer Valley yesterday. All right, I will see you on the slopes. Park City is the largest ski resort in the United States. So it has been on my bucket list for a while. The new snowfall got me really excited, but I was managing my expectations after seeing how thin the cover was at Deer Valley next door the day before. We arrived just in time for first chair and did some groomed runs while they were fresh. I like doing this first thing in the morning because it's a good warm up and really the only time I feel comfortable going a little bit faster. With the conditions being the way they are this season, I also try to stay away from groomed runs later on in the day when they tend to become more skied out and slippery. Oh, and if you're wondering how I'm feeling about these vocal secrets on groomers, I love how stable they are at speed, even though I know I can't get on nearly as much of an edge as I would be able to on skinnier skis. It's probably not ideal, but I feel safe and it's a good overall experience. Now, at this point, we have been eyeing Blue Slip Bowl from the Bonanza lift and talking about how we could get there and do our first real double black this season. But first, we are going to warm up some more on a Blue Mogul Run. Yeah, there definitely wasn't five inches. This is Pioneer and it is incredibly slow. I just double checked the Epic app and it definitely said that it snowed five inches overnight. And I'm sure that is true to some extent somewhere on the mountain, but it doesn't ski like there has been five inches overnight so far. So um, I guess we'll just have to venture a little bit further to make our final verdict. But right now, some parts are already getting a little bit icy. It's definitely firm. Maybe we just need to get higher up in the mountain. We'll see. Ooh. First challenge. Okay, blue football. Woo! Can't even see 
Okay, I'm gonna take a look. Okay, it, it's, it's better once you get closer to it. Honestly, I'm a little nervous because I don't think I've skied double black on these skis before. The ski boot combination. I'm gonna take it really slow. But the snow right now feels pretty good. It's just thinly covered. It's high consequence for sure. All right. We're gonna do it. It's not even very moguled. Commit to it. Woo! Finally, like, good link to turn. Oh. Okay, my verdict, this is not too bad for a double lock. I am just psyching myself out. These chunks don't make me feel good. It doesn't even actually feel that Cheap anymore. That was actually pretty great. This is beautiful. It was fun. Let's do Pioneer. gives a pretty good idea of the snowfall overnight. Shitty car, but we hit the road. Doesn't matter where we go and destination unknown. I don't care where the motor stops. Cause when I want it, then I want it. Yeah, I want it. Oh, I want it. Let's go. Look around. Where's the people at? I want a taste of the good life. Hit me right now in it cause when I want it then I want it yeah I want it oh I want it let's go and I won't look back yeah I don't care about the bad shit back home it's Cincinnati baby I just wanna let it go nothing matters when we're way out here oh I, I, oh, we are taking a break with hot chocolate right now it is pretty darn cold out there the groomers have been pretty good. A little bit icy in some parts, but not too bad. But my favorite so far is definitely Blue Slip Bowl. I just really miss that kind of terrain that we just haven't really got too much of so far this season. Um, 
probably with the exception of Vail. The snow at Blue Slip Bowl was really good. It was not very tracked out, it was not busy at all. We only saw one other person the entire time we were there. And we were there for a long time because I really felt like I had to warm up to it. I was nervous because we were in a new place and I hadn't taken those big burly vocal skis on that type of terrain before. So it was just proceeding with a lot of caution, but in the end, it was a ton of fun. And um, yeah, I can't wait to ski more stuff like that. Um, after this, we're gonna go to McConkie's and hopefully there will be more fun stuff like that there. It's a little rocky. It's kind of scary not being able to see what's what's there. Definitely steep. Snow is good. Just gonna get through this little patch here. Clearly rock. Alright. Okay, bye. Now what? I'm just paranoid about rocks, you know? Okay, if I can like get through over there because I don't want to make this turn and maybe hit that rock. Okay. I think it looks better from here. Okay. Okay, I got this. I got this. I got this now. I can reach. I can hit. Okay, we're towards the bottom and it's really not steep anymore. The snow looks really good, so no more excuses. I got knocked into my back seat and I couldn't recover. It's always that. That was so challenging for me. I don't know what happened, but I think the obstacles definitely make it worse. And I feel like these moguls are deeper than normal on double blacks. And I feel like maybe that's why I'm having a little bit of trouble among other reasons, but yeah. Oh man, there are lots of rocks. Like, look at this. This is like not a normal amount. Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, stop. Just 
going to have to kind of step through this. That's not good. Oh, that was a bad scratch. When you know it's rocky and you can't see exactly what's beyond the mosel, it's kind of scary. Okay, once you turn over and can see, it's not too bad. Pull this forward. Get to it, pull this forward. That's a lot better. Come forward, face center, face ahead. As you can probably tell, the McConkie terrain was pretty challenging for me. The rocks were really not fun, but the sections that were good, especially that last bit under the lift, were well worth the effort. Most of this area had good snow even though the cover is thin. We took another ride up and I tried the Blue Run Georgiana, which had incredible views but was pretty slick for me. And right before we called it a day, I checked out the Thanes area. We are on the Pioneer chair again and we're gonna try to go to the Thanes area. I don't know if I'm saying this right, but that's what it sounded like to me looking at the word. I think we're gonna maybe do a run or two off there and uh, make our way back down. We got off of Pioneer and then we just followed the crowd and went that way. And then now we're coming back <laughs> to basically right under the Pioneer Loop. Ooh. We are on Thanes right now. It's under the Thanes chair. I'm sad my GoPro died because this little section here has been the best all day. Down here though, I'm not sure. Looks like some obstacles are starting to come out. Yeah, this next section was definitely not as fun, but it's a good challenge, it's a good pitch, and the snow is pretty good. This last section right here was amazing. Some of the snow was a little crunchy, but it was very, very good skiing. All in all, this was a great day at Park City Mountain Village. The rocks are getting a little old, but I like that I am learning how to better deal with them with each encounter. The snow conditions were a little bit hit or miss, but I am satisfied because we hit some really good spots. No fresh powder really, but we definitely skied some soft snow. I enjoyed finally getting on some steep technical terrain and feel like I warmed up to it throughout the day. I would really love to visit again to have another shot at McConkey Bowl in particular, where I feel like I would have had a lot more fun when the snow is better and my confidence is higher. Something that really stood out to me about the Park City side is how nice the layout is. It really left an impression on me as a first time visitor. It was really easy to get from lift to lift and going back down to the base was super simple by following the green home run all the way down. And as we will learn tomorrow, Canyons is pretty much the exact opposite. Oh, and I get into a really sticky situation up at 9990 as well. I have lost both edges. <sighs> so stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you over on the Canyon side in the next one. Bye!